Hello and welcome to this course on SOC verification with System Analog Language. My name is Ramdas and uh, I have been working as a verification engineer for nearly 15 years now. Uh, and specifically, I have been using System Analog Language for the last 7 to 8 years. And in this course, we will be learning about some of the basic fundamental uh, design verification concepts used in system on chip designs or in general for ASIC or microprocessor designs. We will also be learning about uh, coding in system analog language specifically with an emphasis towards verification. Uh, some of the course goals and takeaways uh, that you can expect in this course is to learn about some of the basic concepts in the design verification, specifically functional verification flows for SOC or ASIC or VLSI designs. And you should also be able to code, simulate and verify designs in system analog language by the end of the course. And I'm hoping that by the end of the course, uh, you will be ready and qualified for a verification job. So the intended audience are specifically students who students who are pursuing their VLSI digital design courses or microelectronics or embedded system design courses and specifically looking for a job in the verification industry. However, I believe it, this course would also be useful for working professionals in VLSI design and specifically verification engineers. Uh, no pre prerequisites as such for the course, but I believe a general awareness of digital or logic design flows, some basic understanding about any programming language will help you to understand this course and specifically learning the verification concepts in system analog language much faster. And I believe if you have a passion for learning, then you can uh, make the best use of this course. Uh, teaching methods, uh, I have tried to use short video lectures uh, using PowerPoints and whiteboard screen captures. Uh, there are a few coding exercises at the end of every few lectures. Uh, I have tried to kind of uh, list down some of the exercises that you can try it out yourself. I also kind of uh, added some quizzes at the end of sections which hopefully will help you to judge your progress towards uh, learning. Uh, at the end of every section I have uh, put like certain exercises. So these are the exercises that are present in the course. The exercise one is a case study on how to verify design where you will apply some of the learnings on basic verification concepts. And then at the end of every section where we learn about system analog language, there are certain exercises which will help you apply some of the learnings of the verific uh, learnings of the system analog language. So specifically, end of uh, end of the section on system analog language construct, I have an exercise to code a design. At the end of learning a few more concepts, there is an exercise to learn about coding interfaces and clocking blocks. And there is also an exercise to code some of the test bench components using system analog classes. And there is also an exercise that will help you to apply some of the randomization and some of the random constraints that system analog language supports to create random stimulus generations. And you also have an exercise to create a test using multiple parallel threads uh, using system analogs, uh, multi-process and threads and synchronization mechanisms and at the last you will have an exercise to simulate and verify putting all this together on a design. So that concludes the first lecture on introduction. So once again thanks for joining in the course and hope to see you throughout the end of the course. If you have any question or any comments or any suggestions you can uh, post it on the discussion thread and I will respond to those at the earliest possible. So, no, thanks again. Bye.